Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to uh, take 8.02 times 10 to the third and then raise that to the third power. So this is going to get really fun. Um, <laughs> so hopefully there's a couple things I want you to remember about this. Um, first, let's take a look at the rules of exponents. If I have a to the n um, raised to the m, so that means if I have any number raised to an exponent and that's raised to another exponent, remember I'm going to have to multiply the two exponents, all right? And the next thing I also want you to remember is a, a number in scientific degree is any number a that's between 1 and 10 that's multiplied by 10 raised to a power n that is an, that is an integer. So you can see this is obviously in scientific notation. 8.02 is between 1 and 10, and then our n is an integer 3. Now, um, one thing you got to remember is this is a whole number in general. The reason why I use scientific notation again is just a way to rewrite um, rewrite numbers that are maybe very big or very small. But the operations with them are going to stay consistent as well. So um, another thing that I should also tell you is if I had k a to the n raised to the m, that's also going to mean k to the m a to the n times m. So that m is going to distribute to both of them. And we're going to use that for our scientific notation because when we're adding and when we multiply and divide, we multiply and divide the first two terms and then we do the we do the times ten separately. So this is going to be the same thing. I'm going to rewrite this as eight point zero two to the third power, and then times ten to the third cubed. All right. Well, eight point zero two to the third power. I don't know that by my head, so I'm going to type it in my calculator, and I'm just going to. Um, round that to the nearest tenth, which is going to be 515.8 times, and this will be times 10 to the 9th power, as 3 times 3 equals 9. Now, to finish this problem, so that means I'm going to now move my decimal point over 9 units to the right would be my answer. But our problem is, um, this 515.8 is not between 1 and 10. So to make it between 1 and 10, I'm going to have to move this decimal point over two more units. So rather than having to go 9 units to the right, right, because that times 10 to the 9 means 9 units over, now I have to go over 11 more units. So I have to go two more extra spots. So my final answer is going to be 515.8 times 10 to the 11th power. And what that's going to tell me now, you can see that when I go to my 11 spots to the right, I will now have the same answer as um, 515 times 10 to the 9th. And that's how you uh, raise a, uh, <clears throat> a number in scientific notation to a power. Thanks.